Hello, welcome to Rad System Studio. My name is Tuzik. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create dynamic form using PHP Rad Classic. For this tutorial, I am using Rad System Studio version 5.1.3, which is the latest version at the moment. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new project. I will set the, the project name to be Multiforms. Let's link this project to database. Please, observe we cannot create a new database straight away from Rad System Studio. But we can only select from already existing database. I'm going to choose this database. Once done, click on the Create Project button to continue. You can enable multiple language if you like. Here we are, using this button, we can add more tables and field to our project. To publish project, click F5 key or the publish project button. For the first time, it's going to take couple of minutes. Once completed, a command prompt pops up. Please minutes it and continue. To preview project on any browser of our choice, click the preview in the browser button. So far, our databs has only one table, but let's add some table more. To do that, back to Rad System Studio, go to the project pages, then click on Manage Database Table button. From here we can add more tables and field to the project. Once done, Please click on the Save Changes. Observe Database Syncs. Publish and preview changes on the browser. On the Product table. As we can see our table is empty, so let's add a record to it. Do you notice, we can only add one record at a time? What if we want to add multiple records at once and submit all at the same time? Here come in today's tutorial. Dynamic Table Row. Back to Rad System Studio. On the Project Pages, locate the table of choice. I will maintain the Products table. From the Table Pages, click the Add Page. On the Add Page Properties, locate and click on the Form Layout Type. By default this is set to Horizontal. Please select Dynamic Table Row from the option provided. Observe, immediately we chose the Dynamic Table Row, two field properties is added below the Form Layout field, which are the Form Layout Max Table Row and the Form Layout Min Table Row. The first option being the Form Layout Max Table Row, enable us to set the maximum number of records that can be added at a time, the default value is 10, but you can change it while the second option being the form layout min table row, enable us to set the minimum number of records that can be added at a time, the default value is 1, but you can change it as well. Ok, let's publish changes and then preview on the browser. Now when we refresh the product add page, observe the form layout has changed from horizontal format to row format, with this layout, multiple row can be added or removed. I'm going to click fill this form. With this plus icon button, we can add another row of record form. We can go on and on to add more row until we'll reach the maximum number of row we set. Same happens when we atom to remove form row below limit set. In order not to lose data I'm going to submit this form by clicking on the submit button. That's nice, we have all records submitted at the same time. I'm going to add more records, please observe I cannot remove the last row. This is because we set the minimum form row to 1. We can make it 3. 
and that will sets our form default and minimum row to 3. Thank you for joining us today, most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you.